A WebXR PWA. The simple example was designed to highlight just the process of converting a super simple web app to being an installable PWA. If you take a look at the factory example, this is a WebXR example. I've completed the steps to convert this to a PWA. One, it has a manifest file. Two, the index.html page has a link to the manifest file. Three, it has a service worker. Four, the service worker handles caching. Five, there's a theme colour set. Six, there's an Apple Touch icon. The app loads a factory model that includes a navigation mesh, NavMesh for short. There's a link to a YouTube guide to creating NavMeshes in the resources. A NavMesh is a mesh defining all the places an avatar can walk. In the move dolly method of the game class, we use this mesh when moving around the environment. Let's spend a moment reviewing this. The technique is like the college example in section 6, only this time we use the nav mesh, not a proxy model. We start by storing the current dolly position and orientation, its quaternion property. The VR camera is parented to the dolly and gets its position value from this empty object. The dolly is not a mesh, it's simply an object 3D. It has a position and orientation and a place in the scene hierarchy, but it isn't rendered. Then we set the dolly quaternion to match the world quaternion of the dummy camera. The dummy camera is attached to the headset virtual camera and lets us access its orientation. Now the dolly is pointing in the direction of the headset camera. We move the dolly along its local Z axis. For a camera that's like moving forward, then we get the new position of the dolly. Now we want a vector pointing down. That's 0, minus 1, 0. And we raise the Y position of the dolly we grabbed by two world units. Think of it as 2 metres. We set the raycaster to this position and direction. Then call the intersect object method of the raycaster using the nav mesh that's initialised when passing the factory object in the load environment method. If an intersect occurs, then the intersect array will have a length greater than zero. If it is zero, then we need to restore the dolly position to the stored start position, the position before the translate Z. If length is not zero, we can move the dolly to the first intersect point. Finally, we restore the dolly orientation by copying the start quat to the quaternion property. Now we can move around by looking in the direction we want to go and pressing select. <laughs> nice! Since this app has many more assets, I updated the caching in sw.js. Because this app loads remote controller models, it isn't entirely offline compatible, but the app should run fine without these models. I uploaded all the files to a remote site, tested it was installable on my Mac, then tested it in the Oculus browser. Looks like we're ready to package and sideload. Use PWA Builder to create a MetaQuest package, download it and unzip. Use Oculus Developer Hub to install the app on your Quest headset. Remember to drag the APK file. Using your headset, go to Apps and use the Apps filter to select Unknown Sources. WebXR PWA example will be in the list. Run the app, press the VR button and explore the factory. Great work! You've completed your journey into the exciting world of WebXR using the 3GS library. And in the next section you'll find some online examples to inspire you. This video is part of my Learn to Create WebXR, VR and AR Experiences Using 3GS course. Get the complete course at a great discount by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.